What's going on guys, Nico here. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three secrets that Avicii used when composing chord progressions. Now, a lot of people on YouTube will put in the word secret, so you click on it. In reality, the only way I discovered this was by going through all of Avicii's songs. These are his lyrics. I went through all the chord progressions, melodies, played them all out. They're on my YouTube channel, Spotify. And I discovered these and I hadn't found them anywhere while watching all YouTube tutorials, going through courses. These are truly secrets that I found here. So make sure you pay attention to this video, watch it from start to finish. It will be well worth your time. And by the end of this video, you're gonna walk away with more tools to add to your songwriting belt uh, and to improve your composition. So with that being said, let's get to work. Quick announcement before we jump in, I am giving away a free piano lesson. So if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, comment down below Piano Mastery. Additionally, if you're a music producer, I am giving away the Avicii Chord Progression Pack absolutely free. It breaks down all of his chord progressions so you guys can study them and use them in your productions. With that being said, let us get into the three secrets that Avicii used when he was creating chord progressions. All right, so the first secret we're gonna go over is how Avicii uses movement in his chord progressions and how he goes down and then back up to build that emotion and tension and fade into darkness. So it sounds like this in its original key. Actually, I'll play it in the key of, let me see. Just quickly transpose it for you. This is a much longer chord progression than a simple. So the way, by the way, what I'm doing here is, is I've used like only the white keys for these tutorials to make sure you guys really comprehend it. And so it's easier for you guys to actually play along with me if you ever wanna pause the video. So feel free to do that. What Avicii's doing in this Fade Into Darkness chord progression that is just great to me is he's introducing a lot of emotion with this downward upward movement. And when you do that with your chord progression, you're building suspense. So here we go. And when we look at the key of C major, all we're doing is playing the six, five, four chord and then we're going up two, three, four, five. And if you don't know what those are, make sure you watch the chord lineup video because that explains all this you know, much better. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Anyway, what Avicii does here that's so great is this melody. That's all the melody is. And it repeats over and over and over and over again. And but like the, the great sensation that you actually get is the melody's great, but you feel this chord progression like. you want to put your arms up and be like yes like you you got to the top of the mountain once that a minor hits hard right so that's what we that's what we like to hear that's what gets us pumped up when we're working out to this kind of music but that's what really it is right it's the rise it's it's the down and then the rise right especially you know another chord progression to build tension is the because it goes up and then it goes down versus a chord progression like this where it's going up and down a lot very quickly we want a, sl a gradual decline and a gradual increase, right? And that's what we like in this. And that is an Avicii chord progression secret. And he uses that a lot. He used that in other songs. That one only just goes up, right? But I have another video with the top 10 chord progressions by Avicii. He uses chord progressions better than anyone else I know in music. Sagala comes in a close second place in dance music per se. We won't get into other genres, but in dance and pop music, Avicii is up to the top. He is up to the top, and I think that's what made his melodies even better, the fact that he knew how to relate the chord progression to the melodies. All right, so the second thing that Avicii knows how to do very well is he knows how to borrow chords from other keys. And as I mentioned in the chord lineup, you have certain chords that sound good if they're made minor, certain minor chords that sound good if they're made major, diminished chords major, etc. So one common one that Avicii uses in the song Fades Away, it sounds like this. What is he doing right there? Well, he's saying, all right, I have my chord line up here and I know my seven chords in the key of C. 
whether they're major, minor, whatever, I can take the second chord and make it major. And then if I have a chord progression that has a D minor, why don't I make it major and see how it sounds? And again, this is how you can really do a good job of borrowing chords from each other, right? So what Avicii does, he's like, all right, uh, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And where he's like, Ja, cause they're from, you know, Scandinavian area. And that's an opportunity, right? And most people just don't know how to use this chord. There's a lot of really big artists that are like, oh, wow, it's incredible. Not that complicated. All you're really doing is taking the second chord in the key of C, which is a minor chord, and you're making it major. And on the circle of fifths, if you understand the circle of fifths, you know that the key of C is neighbors to the key of G. And what does the key of G have? An F sharp. We'll get into that in another video, though. That's, that's enough for this video. So point is, he got to know how to borrow chords. That's an Avicii chord progression, you know, Avicii chord secret. This dude knew how to borrow chords. You know, there was other songs like Heart Upon My Sleeve. He has a bunch of them. Anyway, the last one I want to show you is how he actually extends a chord progression using inversions. And when I first was playing through the song, I was I was figuring out the chord progression. I was like, ah, like what is that chord? I'm, I'm a bit confused. So I'll play it for you right now. And it's from Fades Away. And it goes like this. Or whoops. And I'll play the melody. The melody goes like this. <laughs> and it has these notes in it, which are very common if you watch all the Avicii melody videos. So here we go. So I'm sitting there wondering, what is this chord? Because it seems like it was a chord progression with five chords. And it was. But what Avicii did, which was just brilliant, and I've been playing for so long, I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty smart. What he did was, he's like, all right, a C major chord and then just invert it. He jumped the C up an octave and that was the chord progression. So if we want to take that, we can use another example of this and say, all right, I have this chord progression here. Or I'll just do a D minor. Keep it simple. So A minor, F, G minor, D. So we can try this. Again, doesn't sound great, I'm making it up on the fly, but you can see how it adds another element to the song and with this melody co component to it. He's just changing the root note of the lowest note. He's just jumping the C up an octave. And my example wasn't great, but it just goes to show you that if you experiment enough with this secret, you'll be good to go and on your way creating better, more interesting chord progressions. And a lot of people think a chord progression, you know, I just put, you know, boom, 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 boom. Well, the best guys that are succeeding at the highest level have the highest chord progression writing ability. Like it, it's just, it's very clear cut to me when I'm looking at the best melodic dance and pop producers, they write better chord progressions than everyone else. And you know, that's, it stands out. Every single little piece in your production, in your songwriting, every single element that you can add, you add that 1% every time, eventually you get to an A+. And that's how you release music that people actually listen to. And if you're like, oh, people don't like my music, but it sounds good. Maybe the chord progressions aren't good enough. Maybe the melody's not good enough. There's a lot of different factors involved in it. Maybe the mix, the master's bad, whatever. Point is, these three secrets, now you can add them to your tool belt and repertoire. Again, we went over chord movement, going down, then going up. We went over borrowing chords, and we went over inversions. Three different tactics to use to your tool belt that you now know how to use. So if you found that value and you like this video... Like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you get updates with all my music. Again, I have all the free mini downloads in the description that you can check those out for chord progressions from Avicii, Kygo, Elenium, other artists that I've probably added by this point. And again, comment down below, Piano Mastery. When you do that, every Friday, I select a winner from the comment section and we do a nice long piano lesson where I show you more tricks, I answer any questions you have. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.